What's the YouTube terror? Back to a video in today's YouTube video. I'm going to be showing you guys how to boost your FPS with the Proto Manly's Weather Mod. Man, this mod is very, very demanding on your PCs. Now, I know a lot of you guys want to play this mod, but you guys have been having crashing issues, low FPS, and stuttering issues. Well, in this video, guys, I'm going to try my best to fix those issues for you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be giving you guys a lot of information in this video, guys. I'm going to give you guys some memory configuration. You guys, the best performance mods, best graphic settings, best Proto Manly config settings for graphics to boost your FPS, guys. This is going to be a decently long video. I want to say a too long of a video. It will definitely be a long video with a lot of information. And make sure you guys stay to the end because at the end of the video, I'll be giving you guys a last resort resource pack that will also boost your performance as well. So guys, make sure you guys stay to the end of the video. But yeah, guys, if you guys are excited for this video, make sure to like button, subscribe button, man. All right, guys, before we go ahead and jump into mod rent so I can give you guys the best mod pack configuration, I want to go over the minimum and recommended GPU requirements. As you guys can see right here, the minimum GPU requirements are GTX 16. 60 super and the rx 590 and the recommended gp requirements on rtx 3060 or rx 6600 xt so now guys as you can see here integrated graphics will be very very hard to run the mod man as you guys can see here like you really need a decent gpu to be able to run this mod because this mod is so heavy with the clouds the shaders like this mod is super super demanding on our pcs now quick disclaimer that before this update intel i gpus and gpus weren't supported because they had like a weird overcast issue with the clouds but now as of today 0.13.7 that might have just been fixed as you can see in the guys in the change log right here settings overcast percent to now zero fully disables background cloud rendering leaving clear size even on intel gpu so that issue guys may have been fixed i'm not going to say it's official just yet all right guys before we head and go ahead and get to the modern mod pack settings make sure you go ahead and install modern for this video because i will not be using curse forge or anything like that i'll be using the modern launcher for this video all right guys so now we're on the myron app launcher now if you guys need some help installing the launcher in my proto manly's weather mod installation the tutorial i do show how to install the myron app it's pretty simple but uh, you guys shouldn't have any trouble installing this so, all right guys so make sure you guys are also signed in with your guys's minecraft account so the first thing we're gonna go ahead and do guys we press this plus icon down here to create a new instance now once you guys are in this create an instance screen you can name it whatever on the loader you want to go ahead and press neo force because this is what the loader is for the mod now if you guys put forge fabric quill or just basic vanilla the mod won't work at all the mod will just not load the game will crash you get error coded same for the game version the game version guys you need to be 1.21 Point one, right? Like I said game version is wrong. It will crash. Make sure the loader is on Neo Forge. The game version is on 1.21.1, and you guys should be good to go, man. Let's go ahead and press the create button, and up at the top right, it will be installing the mod pack. All right, guys. Once the mod pack gets done installing, it will pop up on your left side of your modern app window right here. Or you guys want to find it again? Let's go to library and whatever you name it, it will be right here. I made my Proto FPS Boost Guide number two is right here in the library. I'm gonna click on that, and now you are in the home screen of your custom custom mod pack man so before we go ahead and start installing the weather mod and all the other performance mods we go ahead and set our memory configuration and make sure our neoforge loader is on the correct version so what you want to do is click icon in the top right and then you guys want to go to java and memory and you see memory allocated right here you want to go ahead and check custom memory allocation right here and you guys want to set this slider to half your ram so right now i have 32 gigabytes of ram i need to set my slider to 16,000 megabytes or 16 gigabytes of ram so i'm gonna set mine to 16 gigabytes if you guys have this custom memory allocation very low you will lose start losing fps because minecraft is trying to compact everything in less ram and stuff like that so either you want to set this to half your ram or a little bit more than half if you guys are using a lot of mods so if you guys are using like a big mod pack uh you guys may want to set this uh, slider a little bit higher if you guys have eight gigabytes of ram you guys want to put that at 4,000 megabytes you guys have 16 uh gigabytes of ram you guys want to set that to 8,000 megabytes or if you guys are using big mod packs you can increase that by a thousand or two thousand to be completely fine but if you guys are streaming or doing a lot of browsing on a computer while playing minecraft you guys probably want to set that uh it's a little bit lower so your streaming uh application will have enough ram to use and your browser will have enough ram to use as well and then all right, after you complete your memory allocation you can go to hit this installation tab right here make sure it's on neoforge game versions right and neoforge version make sure it's the latest one so right now the latest for me is 21.1.172 that's the latest as a re recording this video here and yes if that's the latest you guys are good to go now we are just got done configuring our mod pack now it's time to install our performance mod and the actual weather mod itself
Alright guys, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and install the weather mod because it's what you guys are watching the video for, man. It'll be crazy if you guys don't install the weather mod. So now we're gonna go ahead and install our performance mods. We got a lot of performance mods that we're gonna be installing in this video. I'll put a list up on the screen and the performance mods will be, will be in the description down below. Alright guys, so the first performance mod that we are gonna be installing is the sodium mod, man. We press sodium right here and then we're also gonna install sodium extra as well. Then after that, we're gonna install the Reese's sodium options mod, the entity calling mod, the ferrite core mod, the lithium mod, the modern fix mod, immediately fast mod, the noisy mod, AI improvements mod, the concurrent chunk management engine mod. Now guys, if you guys realize your CPU is running too hot, which shouldn't be the case at all because mod has had issues in the past, but it's always been fixed now. But if you guys are having some high CPU usage, CPU temps, you guys can go ahead and remove this mod. It just helps with chunk performance. Now all those issues have been fixed. You guys don't have any problems, but the packet fixer mod, and the more calling mod. Now, if you guys want to go ahead and play with some friends, you guys can go ahead and install the essentials mod. It doesn't affect your FPS at all. So you guys are good to go ahead and run that mod. Just make sure your friend has the same exact mods as you do, unless multiplayer won't work. All right, guys, Distance Horizons is not currently compatible with the mod as of currently making this video. So it's not, no, no, really no point to install this unless you guys want to lose FPS for free. So do not install Distance Horizons. Waste of FPS, waste of computer resources. And Iris Shaders too, another waste of another mod. Waste of RAM as well. Shaders are not compatible with the mod. If you run shaders with the mod the mod the weather mod clouds will not load whatsoever all right guys that is it for the mod list for the performance mods the weather mod now you guys can go ahead and install the other mods that you guys like like journey map and all the other mods just make sure to keep in mind that the more mods you install the more ram that gets used and also more mods means less fps but yeah guys now it's time to load into minecraft so i can give you guys my optimized graphic settings and go ahead and show you guys the optimized graphic config for proto man's weather mod and then show you guys a texture pack that will also increase your performance all right guys we just loaded into our custom mod pack here now let's go ahead and go to the video settings man now we're in the distance now this takes a huge chunk of fps now i like to leave mine on 12 because i have a decent pc but if you guys with really good pcs you can put it all the way up to 16 this really goes off your ram and your cpu so if your ram and cpu are really really good you guys can go all the way up to 16 if you, if you guys feel like you don't have a really good of a cpu or not that much ram i recommend going eight or ten chunks uh simulation distance you guys kind of want to keep this at the same render distance that you guys have but yeah guys all this stuff right here is all personal preference you guys want to put on full screen with ui scale and stuff like that it doesn't affect anything but v sync guys we want to make sure this is off man please make sure it's off please make sure it's off it adds more delay you lose fps Do not have v sync on it's just not a good option to have on at all times now max frame rate set this to unlimited now if you guys notice a lot of stuttering a lot of fps drops you guys want to cap this to 10 fps over your mod's refresh rate so if you guys have a 60 hertz monitor man you guys want to cap it at 70 if you guys have a 144 hertz monitor you want to cap it at 150 you have a 90 hertz monitor you want to cap it at 100 fps but this is only if you have a lot of fps drops and stuttering going on in your game now view bobbing and all these last three options down here it doesn't really matter it doesn't really affect your fps at all now quality graphics fast there's not really that much of a difference in going fabulous and fast now clouds you want to go ahead and turn this off whether you can leave a default or go fancy it doesn't really matter it doesn't really affect it that much leaves you guys want to go fast on leaves particles you guys want to go minimal with the particles smooth lighting that's when we keep that check because it does game does kind of look bad if you guys turn that off and the performance impact is low and also guys if you guys don't know what some of this stuff is if you hover over the uh, the option, you guys can actually see a, a quick description of what it actually means. So and if you guys are starting for FPS, you guys can probably get away with mid-map levels being at zero. Now performance, you guys want to keep this default. Don't change anything on here. Advanced keep it default as well animations if you guys want to turn off some animations you guys can go ahead and turn it off here it doesn't affect the fps particles it does kind of take a it, when the particles pop up on your screen i guess it takes away like one fps but i mean just leave all the particles active man there's really no point to turn all this stuff off uh details i guess we leave all of this default as well rendering leave this all default extras i want to show my fps for this video i don't want fps extended because i don't want graphs and like charts showing my fps and like the averages and stuff like that and uh, more coiling you guys will also want to leave this on default as well now if you guys are tech savvy and just want to go in these these mod settings and just change stuff you guys can go ahead and do that but yeah guys that is the optimized graphic settings if you guys need to you guys can lower the chunks down 
but that would just lower down your viewer distance. All right, guys, we just loaded into the game here. As you can see, we already got the realistic clouds going on, man. They look very, very, very nice. But you see, guys, on the top left of my screen, we have 165 FPS stable. All right, guys, to get to the weather mods uh, config settings, you guys want to hit the escape key on your keyboard, go to mods, and scroll down on this little list until you guys see Proto Manly. So I just found it right here. And then press the config button right here. And we will not be using the server settings for this video. We'll just be using the client settings. Okay, guys, so the first setting we're going to go ahead and change is the volumetrics quality volumetrics quality now this is already perfect where it is but honestly if you guys need a little bit more fps out of this mod going low won't be bad at all now if you guys go high or pc killer man your, your fps is going to take a huge tank now if i put on pc killer real quick guys look how much fps i'm at now 112 so i was at 165 now i'm at 112 and then if we put it on potato and uh, let's see how it looks we put on potato yeah you see guys look at the clouds they just look a whole lot less quality they look more white than anything i like they just show very white on your screen the clouds are just more white so we do get a little bit in the fps boost but not as big so i think medium is perfect but if you guys actually get 183 it's not bad but i guess you could put potato on if you guys are on a low end laptop let's see how low looks like let me see how low and uh, yeah, low it looks a lot more smoother, but we are not getting that big of an FPS boost. So if you guys are starting for FPS, I'll put on potato. But for this video, since we don't want to want to lose so much quality, medium will also be perfect. We don't want to lose FPS by going to higher quality. Medium has that sweet spot; it doesn't look bad, and the clouds still look pretty good. All right, guys. Now for the next setting. Now this next setting is crazy. Now this, this really will increase your FPS, like when you're roaming around the Minecraft world when there's not that many storms going on. Now default is 2.0, but guys, if you set this to 4.0. The down stamp in the 4.0 guys look how much fps we get boom my goodness guys we are all the way up to 330 fps now and now what this down sampling thing does it just makes the clouds like a little bit less quality again but it adds some artifacts to the clouds as you guys can see here but yeah you can see there's a lot of artifact on the cloud especially when you move around you can see between the trees it's like pop-ins and stuff like that but guys look at here guys look at my fps we literally doubled our fps basically now you guys want to try down something in 3.0 i didn't really notice anything of a change with 3.0 my fps was maybe like 10 fps higher 20 fps higher so down something in 3.0 i wouldn't even want to do that all right so guys if we put it on pc killer the clouds look a little bit better and we are still stuck at the same fps like we were at the beginning of the video so oh shoot we got a squall line forming over here bro what the heck so personally i'll probably go volumetrics quality at medium and down sampling at 4.0 well yeah guys we are not getting that uh fps boost again because uh we got this big storm trying to form in our minecraft world but yeah guys you can see those trees over there it's kind of giving a little bit of artifacting effects and that's just with the cost of this mod man this mod is very demanding the biggest way to boost your fps with this mod is to actually upgrade your pc that's basically that's basically what that's really what the best way to gain fps in this mod is to upgrade your pc now you can really start seeing the artifacts on the cloud so that's what that's what the cost is going for put on down sampling but you do get that huge fps boost as you can see right now guys we are at 300 30 looking right at this storm so all right guys next setting we have is cloud lighting now i'll just leave this on but this does cost some performance too but it's only like 5 fps so i'll just recommend leaving it on it's not that big of a difference max particle spawn distance default is really good as it is you're really going to notice anything but 850 is what i tested that's really good but if you guys are on low end systems 850 would be really good but for my PC, I feel like I feel like a thousand and twenty-four will be good for my PC. And now debris particle density, you guys can go ahead and drop this thing all the way down to 0.20 on the debris particle density. Now this will help your FPS during tornadoes and during squall lines. Now custom particles want to leave that on and radar resolution, man. You want to set that down to 30. If you guys want your radar resolution to be a little bit higher, you can go ahead and put that 35 or 40. Now the higher you have your radar resolution when you have the weather radar on the ground it will take a tank on your fps so you put it at 100 and your weather radars on the ground you will be losing a whole lot of fps so all right guys now for the last resort of this video for more fps is this resource pack now shout out to fate assassin in my discord server for sending me this resource pack out so i can go ahead and show you guys what this resource pack is about but yeah guys you can see here this resource pack does make it cloudy at all times and you can see that the clouds are very very low quality now this resource pack doesn't really help me out that much but maybe on lower end pc 
these there will be that fps boost for you guys also in this resource pack this all introduces new 3d blocks into the to the mod as you can see here all of these blocks are 3d which looks very very nice now this is a weird artifacting issue but beta assassin did say that he was going to be updating this this resource pack to be adding some more performance and fixing some bugs which would be very very nice so but yeah guys if you guys want to use this resource pack also you guys want to go ahead and go to, to server settings and set your overcast percent all the way to zero so you can get rid of that lure cloud overcast effect with this resource pack now you can actually see just the just the supercell with this resource pack so this resource pack is very very nice for very very low end pcs i wouldn't use it on any high end pcs or medium end pcs in my opinion because you have down sampling you already have of all metrics quality you guys can change to increase your guys's fps no ambient clouds going on you just see the actual natural storm with this resource pack so nice little resource pack comes with some nice blocks in it but yeah shout out to fate assassin in my discord server sending me out this resource pack i'll leave the description down below if you guys want to go ahead and install it man but yeah guys that'll be it for this video now i hope i hope i hope i hope you guys get some fps man i know it comes with a cost of quality but hopefully my memory configuration my my list and my config settings can help y'all get gain some fps for his mod because his mod is very very demanding even i struggle to run the mod i know a lot of people struggle to run the mod so even if you may have not gained that much fps maybe you gain like 20 or 30 but hopefully this mod becomes playable after watching this video but yeah guys once again the best way to, to upgrade your fps while playing this mod is to get a new computer thank you guys so much for watching man hope you guys enjoy hope you guys i help you out and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out